and now we'll continue with the cleaning process so we'll put some epa there small brush and cleaning clean cleaning everything and for this process don't pour, don't forget about the safety glasses So it's very important, yes? Good. Some alcohol. Is a papyric alcohol. And now the idea is to remove this flux to see better the, the soldering points. So I'll do like that all the board from top to down. I'll make an inspection on, on the end to see if it's necessary to solder something, but I don't think so. I found two cold solder joints, I fix it. And now only cleaning process and this board it will be ready. And of course after the it will be finished after I will manage to clean the pots and the switches because they are noisy on this unit. And it will be perfect after that. Good. So this is how it looks. Now it's perfect cleaned. This is how it looks the front now like I said I fixed back some uh, some screws on the holes and here is the main circuit board it looks totally different now no dust no liquids nice colors here is the phono stage Preamplifier, tone correction, here is the power indicators, circuit, power supply and the protection circuit with relay, radiator is cleaned, and here is the tuner board, you can see how much dust is here until we are clean, main capacitors, power transformer. And we'll continue to put back the the dragon tone power transistors. This in position. I will show to you how I'll add grease on this. How we'll solder, how we'll tight. But for the moment, this is how it looks. It looks very nice. So sorry for that. Here is the Darlington power pack STK0050. This one is going on the right channel. Yeah, so how I will do now? You see, it's clean. I cleaned on the beginning of the video, like you saw already. I will take the paste, a tooth, tooth stick, but the tooth stick I want to, I will cut. You see, it's sharp here on front. I will cut this, this pointer. I will drop that one and I will put now the tooth stick on the white grease, this heat transfer grease and now I'm adding the grease evenly on this metal side of the power pack. Yeah? I will add more. Okay. So I'm trying all my best to not put the finger inside of this grease to spread around. Like I said, I will try to to spread this grease evenly here.
the layer should not be too thick or too thin, yeah? To be normal. This is the reason why I am using this uh, tooth stick. A little bit more. And now it should be fine. Like that, it's it's more than uh, more than enough. I want to clean one more time this edge here because I want to be perfect. Yeah. So now it's ready to to fix. How I will do this? So this one is this uh, our uh, pack which was not marked. I marked the left one. So I will keep closer the screws. Screwdriver is closer to me here, yeah. and now I will align this Darlington pack. With the connections there, yeah. So this is how, how I, will, I will do now. These connection tabs are on position. I will put the screws, one on one side, the other one on the other side. And now I will tilt, I will lower a little bit the, the Darlington pack, yeah? The screwdriver is here. So, I will tight. I will turn two turns this screw, now this one, until I will reach the point. So now it's on position, now I will press with the fingers and I can tighten. And now the paste should go out. Don't over tight, tight normal, don't forget it's made by plastic. And now we have to check. So like you see the paste came out, which is good, also here down. This is the reason why I prefer to clean very well from the beginning, to see how it looks. Now we will proceed to solder the, the terminals. So now we will solder the the terminals on the main circuit tab Okay, so here it's ready on this side, and on the other side remains to Okay, this is ready, and now on this side Okay, this one. Okay, and here one more. The last one. Perfect. Now I have to clean this.
This is how it looks like now. Everything is cleaned, no any flux around. Everything is shiny. All connections are done. The solder, solder points, everything is done. You can see that are shiny. Both of them are connected. Now we'll go ahead with this area, power transformer, power capacitors. And uh, we'll check all the fuses here. And after that we'll make a test. And if the test it will uh, it will pass, we'll go ahead with the with the FM and AM tuner board. Main power cap caps they've been replaced. These two are old. Here around the back cover was cleaned. Around here. Speaker terminals, they were clean also. Main filter caps with the board cleaned. Main power transformer cleaned. On the other side, same. I checked the fuses. These fuses here. I cleaned the cables. I cleaned also the dust around. All the fuses are okay. According with the marks, what are below? So you see this one it's on amp. Also is written on amp on the fuse. Two amps, two amp on the fuse, four amp, four amp on the fuse, and one amp, one amp on the fuse. So everything is it looks it looks perfect. And now we are on the last stage, tuner board with front end, you see it's also full of dust, like the other stages, but it will be, it will be cleaned. After that, the spare parts which they will be installed are this, plus two transistors, here on the board are two transistors which they are prone to make pops his troubles during the years the 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 value of this the value of this is one moment i don't know if it's visible 2SA726 both of them so this these two they should be replaced and the transistor for for replacement are this two no they are without two KSA nine nine two no it looks much better no any dust turning perfectly yeah. it's like new now and here are the old parts from the tuner board